أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وأصبح فؤاد أم موسى فارغا إن كادت لتبدي به لولا أربطنا على قلبها لتكون من المؤمنين رب الشحر صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي We are on the 20th juz now الحمد لله we're in the 20s and this is Surah Al-Qasas one of my favorite ayat of the surah talking about the uh, mother of Musa alayhi salam. I picked this ayah because it actually is very close to my heart for many reasons and most important of which is all human beings will suffer emotionally traumatizing experiences. We're going to be hurt because of uh, loved ones, because of loss of loved ones, because of sickness, because of the pain that loved ones will cause us, like the hurtful things our parents will say to us, or we will say to our parents, or our children will say to us, or the wife and the husband will say to each other, or friends will say to each other, you know, and we're going to go through traumatic experiences in life like, you know, job loss or home loss or even worse, you know. There are people, so how many people in the world living in like, you know, really horrific situations that we can't imagine suffering. Children going through things that I can't imagine my children even close to suffering from, right? And that's a reality that so many people face. And this particular ayah, to me, is an ayah of great hope because when people get scarred, people get emotionally damaged, then they feel like they're never going to be able to recover and move on with life again. Musa's mother had the colossal task of taking her baby and putting the baby in the water. A mother has to put her child in the water. That is not, an, it's not even an imaginable thing a mother can do. But she has two options, watch her child be slaughtered by soldiers before her eyes, or take this child and put him in a basket which hasn't been tested for waterproof navigation by any, chance, by any means. Just, and it, just throw him into the river. Alqihi fil yam. Throw him. And Allah says, when she threw him into the water, when she threw the baby into the river, by Allah's inspiration, because she couldn't have gotten herself to do it emotionally, Allah empowered her to be able to do that. He says, Wa asbaha fuadu ummi Musa farigan. Musa's mo mother's heart was emptied out, like the tra the trauma of having to let go of her child and watch the child float away into a river and you can't even access him anymore, and you don't even know what happened to him, if he drowned or not, if a gator got to him, if those, sol those horrible soldiers caught him, if it flipped over, she knows nothing. The worst thoughts may be crossing her mind. Allah says her heart was emptied out. Farigan. Her heart became emptied out, void of all emotion. You know, you somebody hears like traumatic news and you go like this, and they don't blink. They don't talk. They're just quiet. They're emotionally paralyzed. That's the state she reached. In Kadat Latubdibi, she almost gave up her secret. She almost came out running and saying, That's my baby, that's my baby. But if she said that, he would have been killed. Now Allah says, Lawla arra batna ala qalbiha. Had we not firmed her heart, had we not tied up her heart, had we not kept her heart together, Allah took her fuad, which was a heart that's inflamed. And in the same ayah, He used a different word for fuad, which is qalb. He calmed her heart down and brought her back to a normal state. And Allah is describing that He did that. You know, there are people that are emotionally traumatized and can never recover. Why not? Because Allah hasn't tied up their heart. Allah hasn't done that. We as human beings don't have the ability to emotionally recover sometimes. But we're learning in this ayah that Allah has the ability to let us heal and move on. Allah, you could say to yourself, I don't have the emotional capability of forgiving you. But Allah says, I'll tie your heart and I'll give you that ability. You can say in your heart, I have, I was, I'm too damaged by what happened. There's no way I can move on with my life. But Iman, faith in Allah is enough for you to be able to move on with your life. Had we not tied up her heart, so she could be from those who truly believe. What mother can get over the trauma of putting her child in the water and not being able to see anymore? How is she going to get over that? But Allah gave her the strength of heart that not only did she get over it, she was able to think clearly afterwards and send his, his sister after him. She wouldn't have been able to think at all had Allah not intervened. So Allah will intervene into our emotional states. He will intervene. And she's not a prophet. She's, she's just a believer. Which means this is an opportunity for you and me. What, whatever emotional trauma you're going through, know that Allah can intervene and give you peace of mind, peace of heart. And He can give you tranquility again. Whether it's anxiety, fear, whether it's grief, whether it's anger, 
What, whatever emotion, whatever thing, thing has happened that scarred you, that's left you scarred, Allah can remove that scar entirely. And I pray that you are able to ask Allah for that genuine removal of scar and that Allah Azza wa Jal gives you that firmness of heart so you can be from those who truly, truly believe and can live a healthy spiritual life and healthy emotional life. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.